Hello Libra, getting ready to do your reading. Let's see what is going on for you, what the universe would like you to know at this time. Libra Sun, Moon Rising, and Venus. All right, messages for Libra, please and thank you. Okay. Passion card, looked like it wanted to fall out. We'll take those, all right. We have bravery and life purpose. So bravery, number five, explore your inner wild places. And life purpose, manifest your dreams, number 22, number four. Both cards are kind of like moving forward and doing something new and exciting, going after your dreams and what you want. And not always taking care of everyone else and, you know. So let's see what else the universe would like you to know at this time. Okay, I'm going to take this one because it did flip around. New love. A new love or recommitment to love is developing. Hmm. That's nice. What would you like Libra to know? What would you like Libra to know at this time, universe? Okay, there we go. You have abundance and hammer. Okay, so abundance says keep a positive mindset. Manifest exactly what you want, gratitude and bliss. So you have two cards here of manifesting what you want. But hammer says sabotage, rebuilding, repetitive, persistent, working on it. So you may need to put in some work or I'm getting some of you may may sabotage yourself. Like you don't go after what you want. You're always busy taking care of what other people want or need. Again, giving up too quickly thinking it's not gonna happen. So stay positive. So whether it's money, love, both things, go after what you want. Those are actually cards right there, all of those of like saying, okay, something good is coming in for you guys. Don't give up too soon, don't, don't get negative. Okay, two of wands, overall energy, choosing something new, going in a new direction. How someone is feeling, the 10 of cups, and the, we have the sun, wow, okay. Move those there. Something you don't know or see, Libra. What is going on that you don't know or see? We have the Six of Cups, the past. Potential outcome, we have the King of Wands. Wow, under the deck is the King of Cups. So interesting. All right, so let's put this here. Yeah, definitely somebody, you're, you want to start something new when it comes to making money, making more money, a project, maybe even school, a new path. So don't give up on it. It's going to work out. Keep at it. The money will come in. I'm getting some of you are kind of close to quitting because it's like it's taking too long to actually see the results, but the results will come. Okay, so uh, don't give up and like start something new or get a two uh, negative. Okay, what is the two of wands for this reading? What is the two of wands for this reading for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus Universe? Thank you. Okay. This, the first thing I'm getting is to search your soul. Go deep. The moon is very deep card. Take some time to yourself. Really look at what it is you want, where you want to go. Also might be a Sagittarius or a Pisces involved. One more for the moon, please. Yeah, nine of cups of wish fulfilled. Again, five of swords is under the deck. So this is like winning, going after what you want, being brave, pursuing your life purpose. Also, if this is a particular person, there could be a new beginning with somebody, but you may have a past person here with, with both the King of Cups and the King of Wands showing up. Okay, but good energy. So what is the Ten of Cups? What is the Ten of Cups? Page of Swords, the Five of Coins, and the Devil. Okay, this may be the past person. Usually the Ten of Cups to me represents a relationship that has been a long-term relationship, whether it's committed, uh, marriage, uh, could be with a Capricorn, but this is definitely someone who probably is not let you go, Libra. Someone who still spies on you, keeps track of you, misses you, five of coins. But it's kind of an obsessive energy with Page of Swords and the Devil showing up here. Uh, they may be very passionate for you, though. So we'll see if this is, you know, how that plays out. Is that a, a good obsession, stalking, watching, or is this a negative energy? So we'll see. What is the Sun card? What is the Sun card? Judgment, the Star card, and then the Ten of Wands. Definitely... This is putting in some effort, but it's gonna work out with the star card. The sun is like new beginnings. Uh, sometimes the 10 of wands to me can show somebody actually moving their stuff. Yeah, six of swords. There could be a change in location. You know, you change your office, you change, someone maybe even redecorating or rearranging the furniture in their home or something like that. But again, this is kind of like listening to your inner guidance and saying, okay, I'm gonna pick up and I'm gonna move. Now, it could be more mental and emotional. It doesn't have to be physical. But there's a new beginning here with the sun. So that's really positive energy. And it's like put, put the effort in or you put the effort in and it's, and it's going to work out for you. Okay, what is the six of cups? What is the six of cups here? What you don't see. The seven of wands, the sun again, and the three of cups. One more for this. Okay, tower. 
If you're moving on emotionally, physically, however it is, somebody could be, again, they're watching, someone sees you doing that. They see you maybe being happy, but again, yeah, the tower, they're seeing you like move, move on, and this may upset them. What is the tower energy? Eight of Wands, communication, about lover's energy, that it's over. Yeah, as I'm getting, there's somebody who is disappointed to see that you, you have basically decided not to pursue them or work things out with them or could just be also even if you haven't spoken to this person they're just watching you and it's like they don't want you to be happy without them possibly which is you know a really negative energy also they don't want to see you move on and be happy with somebody else even if they did you wrong i mean some people are just that way also if you have a lover somewhere let's say and then you're moving so you guys can no longer be intimate together that's a bummer for someone maybe even you but someone's missing being with you being with you intimately this energy right here feels good though it feels kind of like someone's missing your fun libra the sun the three of cups having fun i mean it could be possibly for someone a third party you would know like friends with benefits or you're sleeping with this person they really like being with you lovers and the Three of Cups is here, but it doesn't have to be. But there's something here about like, they can't be with you anymore. They can't spend time with you because you're gonna make a change coming in here soon. Now this may have already happened. So again, they may be um, feeling blue, missing you. What is the King of Wands though in the outcome? The past, the Seven of Cups, the manifesting, the Four of Coins, holding on to a new beginning, walking away, Four of Wands, listening to their intuition. Okay, under the deck is the Three of Swords. So it feels like there is a fire sign or someone who may, may be a Capricorn Aquarius, someone who may be a little obsessed with you, maybe Sagittarius specifically, Leo, who is missing you, wondering about you, wanting to manifest, but not really taking action. I see them thinking about you, but then deciding not to. I see them thinking about you being happy. It's kind of what I'm seeing. Like you've moved on and you're happy, but they still miss you is what I'm seeing here very um, strongly. So... So again, some of you are deciding on something new here. You're like, your heart is pushing you in a different direction. The rest of the reading really looks like it's a person who is watching you move on to something better. They really do like you, like they enjoy being around you, something about you, you know, you just lights them up and makes them happy, but you have decided to move on. I don't know if this is someone you would want to reconcile with or get back together with or be with or something, because some of the cards tell me that they're not telling you this, like they're not really showing how they feel. Maybe you think it's just about the sex and, um, they don't really have any strong tie to you, but I think they have a stronger tie to you than you realize. I don't, I think you should still keep going on and pursuing what you have because all your cards are saying like, go attract new, new things that you want. Don't give up, be persistent. And this past situation probably is over. What would this past person want to say to you? Um, I'm sorry, this is the wrong deck, but this person wants to be honest. So they will if, they, if you find this person is not honest this is what they want to do they would like to open up and be honest regarding how they're feeling about you so let me go to the right deck and say okay so what would this person like to say if they are being honest with libra i love you unconditionally and i see that here i see somebody who really you you they really do like you they like you kind of no matter what even if sometimes it may not seem that way or the timing just wasn't right for us yeah and then oh i pulled two more just being near you is intoxicating and I'm becoming a better person. Yeah, so this is, you don't know how hard it was to let you go. Yeah, this makes sense. This makes complete sense. There's somebody who, if they could open up and be honest with you and they would tell you these things. I feel like for some of you, this may be a pl player or you consider them a player, someone who that you love, but you feel like they did not love you. Someone you felt like like they just, maybe they even did something shitty but there's, there's love here underneath it all is what your reading is telling you. So I'm seeing like somebody needs to know, like, you know what, there was love there. There was, this person needs to grow and needs to become a better person. And, and it looks like they are. And it is harder to let you go than you realize. You don't realize that it, that it is difficult for them. They're not showing it. They're not being honest. They're not opening up. So I can see why the universe is saying, you deserve better, go after what you want, go after someone who will open up to you and show you that they love you and, um, is there a new love for Libra? Is there somebody else? Let's go up here really quick. So you got a love and a money message in your reading. So good. I hope that was helpful. New love, please, for Libra. Justice. So you will have somebody. That's your car. But you, if you're manifesting it, it's coming in. Can you tell us who, what, when, where? Anything else about the new love, possibly? I pulled a couple. Um, it could be an earth sign. Maybe somebody you do work with or you might meet them at work or your job or something like that. They may have Sagittarius in their chart. It could be someone who... Again, is just taking their time though coming forward. So keep that in mind. 
they may be a slower energy. Um, something about this new person that you can tell us. They're going to be loyal. They're going to be supportive. Okay. You will be a perfect match. They're telling me to extend this for the past person, though. There's someone who may be interested still in the past person and knowing more about what they're thinking, feeling, or doing. Um, the new person could be around you already. Let me see if I can get a timeline. <clears throat> Pardon me. So it could be the month of June. It could be six weeks from now. It could be because this is um, going out. It also is someone who's very balanced, give and take. Definitely seems like it's something to do with pentacles work. One more for that. Seven of Cups. The full. So it could be in the month of June or July. This new person could come forward, and definitely, or you already know who this person is, and you'll have a new beginning with them. All right, Libra, I'm going to leave it here. Have a great week.